Welcome to today's episode of The Daily Threat. We've got some alarming cybersecurity stories that every business leader needs to hear. Today, we'll take a quick look at two recent cyber threats before diving into a major attack that's left businesses scrambling. But first, let's start with something that's becoming all too common. Imagine this, you wake up one day, check your business systems, and discover that attackers have already breached your accounting software. This exact scenario hit several construction firms recently when brute force attacks overwhelmed their defenses. The attackers found a weakness, exploited it, and are now holding sensitive financial data hostage. It's a stark reminder that no business, regardless of industry, is safe from targeted cyber attacks. In another case, over 1,000 ServiceNow instances were found leaking sensitive corporate knowledge base data. Think about it, a tool that companies rely on for managing internal operations is suddenly the weak link in their security. Attackers were able to access confidential information from these knowledge bases, putting organizations at risk of espionage, extortion, and much worse. Uh, but here's the story we really need to focus on today. Ransomware gangs are now exploiting Microsoft's Azure tool to facilitate data theft. This isn't just some minor breach. We're talking about sophisticated criminals using cloud services against businesses. The attackers deploy this technique by abusing legitimate features of the Azure tool, making it harder to detect. Once inside, they're not just stealing data, they're holding it hostage, demanding huge sums for its return or threatening to expose it publicly. Now, let's break this down. How does something like this even happen? In simple terms, these attackers are like burglars who found a way to use your own alarm system against you. They're exploiting features meant to help businesses operate more efficiently, and they're doing it under the radar as businesses increasingly rely on cloud-based tools like Azure, the attack surface grows, and so do the risks. Uh, what are the consequences of this kind of attack? Beyond the financial toll of paying ransom, assuming you do pay, there's the reputational damage. Clients, customers, and partners will question your ability to keep their data safe. Uh, trust is lost, and rebuilding that can take years, if it's even possible. Uh, and let's not forget about the regulatory penalties, particularly in industries like healthcare or finance, where data privacy laws are strict. Uh, so what can you do to protect your business? First, don't rely on default settings. Cloud services are complex and their security often requires a custom approach tailored to your specific needs. Next, invest in proactive monitoring. You need a system that can flag unusual activity before it becomes a full-blown crisis. Finally, have a plan in place. What will you do if an attack happens? Do you have backups and are they secure? These are questions you should be asking right now, not after an attack. The bottom line is this, cyber criminals are evolving and they're getting smarter. If you think your business won't be targeted, think again. It's not about if an attack will happen, it's about when. That's why staying informed is crucial and why we're here at The Daily Threat to bring you the latest news and insights to help you protect what matters most. Before we wrap up, make sure you subscribe to The Daily Threat to stay ahead of the latest cyber threats. And remember, today's episode is brought to you by QIT Solutions, your trusted partner in cybersecurity. Stay safe out there.